All right, it's nice and windy out here, so I'm just gonna show you real quick. We've got our wires pulled through here <clears throat> into the box. I haven't actually terminated them on these breakers yet, but that's the outside. All right, so here we are inside, and oh, here are the little NEMA boxes that I went ahead and drilled holes in the side of for our terminal blocks to go inside of so that we can close them and have them not uh, not be easily shorted out considering we'll have uh, you know at some point up to 1200 amps of power going through there um, and then these are our breakers for the panels primarily using it as a shutoff um, or disconnect or whatever um, so the the conduit that I just showed you outside pops in through here um, I was going to mess around trying to put some convoluted tubing around this or whatever and I thought you know what it's it's a less than a foot and <clears throat> yeah I don't know maybe I'll come up with a nice way to deal with this um, and then out through the top we're going to have our output to the inverters and also we're going to have some shunts for uh, lightning protection and whatnot so they'll go through a little piece of conduit that goes over to the inverter that we're currently running off of which will be connected to these two inverters so we'll run our our uh, solar power you know coming in from the panels through these conduits and we'll be running our AC power out of the inverters through these conduits um, these little tiny pieces right here um, into here so I'm gonna get to work wiring up the DC I'm gonna move these breakers I think I was gonna put them right here but it kind of gets in the way of the communications cables that the inverters use to talk to each other when they're running in parallel. So I'm going to take these and just kind of rotate them and put them over here so then we can run our negative cable along the bottom edge of it and our positive will come out so they can run nice and neat up into right there. So I'm going to make some cables up and then we'll show you that. Well here we go. Got the combiner box wired up, at least the output side going into the building. It's a little bit messier than I would have liked, but I wanted to save some of the wire in there just in case we wanted to change how we're wiring stuff up at some point. So, um, probably wire tie some of that stuff together and make it a little, little neater, but whatever. And then tomorrow, we're going to pull our wire through the conduit over to the middle row, which is currently the front row, but will become the middle row once we put another row in front of it. Um, and then basically the black and white wire ones here we won't be using currently because those will go to the front row the yellow and blue will be the middle row and so we'll have um, strings of six so we'll have you know breaker here breaker here for the for each of the two strings coming back to here and then this will be the row that I'm actually sitting under right now and uh, we'll just run the wire straight in through the bottom here, through this little, through a little, uh, uh, what do they call it? A gland. <laughs> and go straight into these two breakers. And then, so we'll get these wired up first tomorrow. And basically leave, we'll leave the middle row wired up to our current battery bank to get them charged up before we discon disconnect them. And we'll hook up the back row here to the new inverters so they can be charging the uh, forklift battery all day. Alright, so inside we've got those breakers that you've already seen and then the rest of this stuff is all new. Fortunately I wasn't able to find a nice uh, mounting bracket for the big ass breaker so it's held up by wire ties right now. <laughs> um, but going down here we've got four out cable going into that 350 amp uh, connector. That pulsing green light is actually just telling us that the uh, water level is good in our battery because right here is the sensor for that. And then right here is where we fill water into the battery. We'll do that one day. Um, anyway, so we've got four out coming up to there and then we've got three two gauge coming off of there over into our um, terminal block. And you see the nice little cover over it so we can't short things out. Um, oh, and I'm actually getting a uh, 
box to put those breakers in after saying I wasn't going to do it then I was like you know what I looked and I'm like that's 20 bucks yeah we're doing that um the last thing I want is some kid to be in here and touch one of those wires and get hit with 400 volts you know that wouldn't be good um or worse an adult Jesus never trust them adults um and then this is just our ground coming up from the battery I'm going to wrap that up with some just electrical tape and that'll be good enough. Um, the whole point of that is to break it into the three uh, two gauge wires so that it will fit into our distribution block and also so that it spreads the power out so we aren't like heating up one part of the block. Um, then our output into 120 amp breakers We've got one for each of the inverters and yeah that's basically it oh I still have one more negative wire to make up to go into the inverter that's still in the trailer but um, so tomorrow we'll uh, get these programmed and re and connected the rest of the way um, I'll probably just run them without the inverter running or well I'll run this one without the inverter portion running just use the charge controller so it can be charging the forklift battery all day and then at the end of the day we'll actually end of the day and like once the batteries that are in the trailer are fully charged we'll decommission those and bring the third inverter in here and then we get them programmed up to be paralleled and all that fun stuff uh, and then I'm gonna bring that little transformer in here at least for tomorrow um, until we get our our uh, shipping container because well that's something I didn't mention we uh, bought a 40 foot shipping container so we can store some of our junk in there and not worry about building stuff but basically buried inside here is our big transformer and rather than moving stuff around just to get at it we'll just use the little um, 10 kilowatt transformer and just you know set it on the floor and <laughs> use it temporarily until like Wednesday when we get our shipping container and can unload that trailer and then in that trailer we're gonna put our electric oven and our uh, washer and dryer and all that kind of fun stuff and basically just park it right here behind the row of solar panels and we'll be able to hook up to that tank of water to run our washer and uh, and we'll probably put a little temporary sink thing in there or something for washing dishes and stuff we'll see although that might be a lot of work <laughs> for something temporary we'll see we'll see or maybe we'll just build a a cabinet for the for the sink and that wouldn't be so bad because then we can just move the cabinet with the sink in it later yeah we'll see that's a all those thoughts you know if I could if I could uh, list off all the thoughts I've had oh my god these like 16 books worth of stuff all the things I've thought of and haven't done <laughs> anyway back to back to what we're doing here so this is I think it for today and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll get things wired up 